Hi, good day. Welcome back to our class, Chemistry 100B Laboratory. Today, we are going to perform the activity on the changes in matter. I'm going to have a pre-lab lecture first and then kindly observe as I do the demonstration on how to perform this activity. Now, changes in matter is of two types. We have the physical change and the chemical change. When we talk about physical change, there is, there is only a change in the physical state, the form, or the shape. And when we talk of a chemical change, there is really a change in composition. Before we are going to perform the activity, I would like you to take note of the following manifestations for a change in matter. One, you are going to observe the evolution of gas. Two, the emission and absorption of heat. Three, the change in color. And number four, the formation of a precipitate. So you have to take note all those four manifestations for a reaction to occur. So for the first part of this activity, we are going to dissolve the table salt in water. So we are going to take note of the physical state and color of the table salt. So this is the table salt. So you are going to take note of its color. Observe what is its color. And you are going to taste the sodium chloride. We are going to get a pinch of this table salt and dissolve it in water. So with this pinch of table salt, Let's put it into the water. So we will shake it. Observe what happens to the sodium chloride after shaking it with the water. Then we're going to place this sodium chloride solution into the evaporating dish and evaporate the dryness. Let us observe what will happen so the salt solution after evaporating it. You have there a table in your lab guide for you to fill up. Write what is the color of the original table salt as well as its taste. Now, after evaporating this salt solution, we will also try to observe what will be the color of the residue as well as its taste. The next procedure is we are going to evaporate the acetone into the evaporating disc. So let us place a few drops of the acetone into the evaporating dish, and we will observe what happens. So what happens? If you notice, the acetone has completely evaporated. Then we will get another amount of the acetone and ignite it. And I want you to observe what happens. So what have you observed? When you are going to ignite the acetone, it is flammable. Then you are asked to write the chemical reaction that occurs when you burn the acetone. In procedure number three, we are asked to heat strongly a pinch of table sugar inside a test tube. So we will place the table sugar here and we will heat it over the flame. 
try to observe what happens. What do you think is the type of change that occurred when you burn the table sugar? Then you are also asked to write the chemical reaction that occurs in the burning of the table sugar. In procedure number four, we are asked to add hydrochloric acid into the aluminum shavings. I want you to observe what will happen. This is the aluminum shavings. I'm going to place it inside the test tube. And we are going to add this with hydrochloric acid. Now, the aluminum shavings has been added with the hydrochloric acid. I want you to observe what happens. If you are going to fill the test tube, it is hot. So what do you think is the type of reaction when the heat is released to the surroundings? In procedure number five, we are asked to dissolve the ammonium chloride crystals in water. So let's get some amount of the ammonium chloride crystals here. is the ammonium chloride crystal. Then if you're going to observe what is its color and what is its state. Then we are going to add water into this ammonium chloride crystals. Observe what happens. Then with this ammonium chloride crystals, we are going to evaporate this to dryness. Observe what happens. So what are you going to do next? You are going to write all the observations that you have done while I perform the experiment and answer all the questions asked in the lab guide. You are going to submit your output 
on Monday and send it through the email ad that I have given you. That would be all for today. This is your teacher, Professor Nisitas Ruiz of Holy Name University.